You guys ever wonder what happens when you shoot an AK-47 to the point where it's just going to melt down into a flaming ball of nothingness? Me too, all right? And I've always heard a lot of people talk a bunch of smack about Wasser 10s from Century. We got a converted Wasser 10, full auto, ready to roll. We got her lubed up with Fire Clean. Gonna see how well that holds up as a lubricant. We're running some Wolf ammunition. It's 124 grain ammo. We're gonna run a little bit of that. I've got a mixture of com block drums, some P mags from Magpul, and uh, we're gonna run this little puppy and see how long it takes to cook her. I wanna say special thanks to Jake down at Quiet Riot Firearms for help making this happen because guys, we've put a lot of preparation into this video. I even broke out my jumpsuit from Red Dawn. Let's make it happen. Now I am wearing full flak under this thing. It's 100 degrees, 100% 100 humidity here in Georgia, but it's all worth it. I'm gonna try to keep the talk and do a minimal. And we're just gonna make this happen. So here we go. Let's commence. All right, we're gonna take a moment to stop. We're gonna have a look here. All right, guys, it looks like our gas tube walked out up here. That was 240s, 530s, and a 75 round drum. We're gonna take a moment to stop, see if we can fix the issue, and we'll pick this little video back up here in just a second. All right, guys, very interesting result. I know there's a lot of you people out there that are probably AK haters. There's probably people that are AR haters. When we did the AR meltdown video, we had a lot of people hating on ARs despite the fact that it ran 830 rounds full auto to the tilt before it cooked. We got 305 rounds out of this AK and we had a catastrophic failure. The handguards didn't catch fire. The barrel began to get really hot and it drooped. And what we can surmise is that the droop in the barrel and the curvature allowed that front pin to walk a bit enough to where you can see a distinct 16th to 8th of an inch gap or so. Pretty, pretty good sized gap where the trunnion just walked right out. That's why the bolt wasn't going forward all the way and uh, had a catastrophic failure. Now, one of my original predictions did relatively come true. I figured the barrel was definitely going to droop some. It's a very light walled barrel compared to an AR because of the size of the bore. You got a 308, 311 diameter bore. If we get a shot of this bore, I mean, it's like a su curvy sewer pipe. Now, it didn't cook yet, but if it would have kept going without the barrel walking out, 
that barrel was about to let go any minute. That 75 round drum got it nice and hot and it did it in. The fire clean seemed to have done its job. You know, I can just grab this whole assembly and just give it a, a just wipe with my hands and the carbon definitely just comes right off. No issue there. Uh, I still like Century guns. I have no problem with a Century AK. We're putting this gun through something it wasn't designed to do. This particular one. This started life as a semi-auto and of course now it's full auto and uh, we cooked her, okay? So I think what's gonna happen here, we're begging for a part two. So we're either gonna go back to the drawing board with this gun and find out what went wrong, you know, once we have a chance to let her cool down and inspect the damage, or we're gonna go with another gun, get it converted, maybe something with a stiffer barrel, maybe a shorter barrel that won't droop and heat up. But this is definitely food for thought. I'm an AK guy tried and true. I love AKs. This video is not meant to bash AKs. It's not meant to bash ARs. I love ARs. But the bottom line is the results are conclusive. I brought the gun out. I melted it down just like I did the AR. And it survived roughly a third of the rounds that the AR did. So this video should be really pretty good proof that an AR is a solid weapon system if properly taken care of and given the attention it deserves. Likewise, AKs are AKs. Every, every now and then you might get one that's excellent, you might get one that's crummy. Anytime you're working with comblock weaponry, there's no telling. That's why it's important to go through and hand select guns. Not to say there's an issue with the Century gun, I'm not bashing a Century gun. There's a lot of AKs out there made by Century. We will revisit this video, and next time we're going to set this sucker ablaze big time. But I want this video to be out there so people can understand what goes on when you, when you run a gun to failure. You know, not all guns are created equal. Not all models are created equal from manufacturer to manufacturer. Is that to say there's better AKs out there? Well, of course there are. This is a $500 AK. So guys, this is, you know, entry level. This should give you an idea. I would challenge anyone to get their trigger finger moving fast enough in semi-auto to do this to this gun in the amount of time I just did. I know one person that can do it, but he's not here, and I think his trigger finger would get pretty tired. Guys, I appreciate you watching today's video. We are going to revisit this video. Expect it soon. And also, there's a popular Austrian pistol that everyone loves that we're going to be melting down as well. And I have a strong feeling that that video is going to take a little longer than this one. All right, everybody. We just got done with the AK meltdown video, and we had Ray here with us. We had a look at the Wasser and we determined that the barrel ended up walking out. We had a lot of heat. Uh, we whipped the gun against a tree, straightened the barrel back out. We did get the barrel to seat back in relatively hard, and Ray's gonna test fire the gun. Now, one of the points that we wanna show is that there's no way you're gonna make an AR do this in the field. You can't fix an AR with a tree and a hammer. I don't think you would be able to. So, uh, let's see if it runs, Ray. All right, let's try it out. I'd say it runs. Good deal. All right. That just goes to show the testimony of how simple an AK is, how robustly made the design is. Each one of the particular components on the gun may be higher or lower quality, but it's so simple you can make it work with nothing more than a trailer hitch and a damn tree.